Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I was reading over Nikon rumors and I come across this article and it's talking about uh, Primalus Lab, I guess here, uh, maybe the company, has created a cooler system and that goes on the Nikon D5500 and they call it the Nikon D5500A cooled camera. And the pricing here goes for 2,190 euros. And it comes with a four years warranty on camera body. And it looks pretty interesting here. But let's kind of talk about this. Now, it's using a cooler system, not like you just normally stick on like a CPU or anything. It's not a water-cooled system. It's not a direct uh, heat sink on it. It's using a Peltier uh, cooling system or Peltier cell. Now, basically what this is is a ceramic tile that you can put next to the CPU or, in this case, the uh, camera sensor or on the back part of the board be a uh, more ideal location <laughs> since you can't put it on front and basically what this does is you run electricity through that ceramic tile and it basically pulls the heat from one side to the other so it basically siphons off the heat in a much more uh unified uh more uniform manner now what it does when it pulls that heat off they have uh then you can see here some uh was that copper cooling fins and a little uh, fan that blows across it and really reduces the heat on the sensor. Now, this camera is basically for astrophotography. Uh, I know I've did a lot of uh, night shoots and stuff, and one of the biggest problems is sensor noise, especially even uh, hot spots. So even if you have a good sensor that doesn't give you get hot spots, you still end up extra noise. And it just comes more and more uh, prone the longer the sensor is, uh, the shutter's open and the sensor's running. So this seems like a pretty interesting, I'm not sure uh, how many people would just run out to grab this. It seems kind of gawky on the end of it in a way, but I can see that some people would probably find this useful. I would really expect to see something like this on say like a full frame camera instead of just a uh, APS-C camera, even though a lot of your uh, astrophotography cameras have been traditionally APS-C in the past. I think Nikon's the only uh, one recently that re uh, released a full-frame uh, version for astrophotography. But normally in Canon, they had like the 60DA, which for, was for a uh, astrophotography. So kind of interesting how they done here for the price i'm not sure who would want to go for this but uh let's go ahead and kind of look at some of the pictures here you can see the front of the uh camera they kind of got the touch screen on here on the side uh hopefully that is still fold up out of the way and you got the cool systems is very low electronic uh noise oh, well that's the point and you use without battery unlimited uh anonymous i guess you can get the power adapter with it anti-dwelling system no problems with humidity i'm wondering what all they've actually introduced here is this anti-dwelling system i know humidity is really only an issue it's not like in the front of your lens elements which is a lot, a lot of times people like to do this uh long astrophotography like in the desert when possible or when uh cooler weather comes around and because there's less humidity i know that's one of the biggest problems i have especially like here in the philippines trying to do any kind of astrophotography is just uh, freaking humidity especially you know i keep a lot of my all my lenses here in my office because i run an air conditioner remove humidity that way you know don't get mold and mildew in the lenses and uh that's actually a pretty big issue you know, if you live in the tropics and stuff, is mold and mildew and lenses. But anyway, when I go out to do astrophotography, the elements, even though it, I, you know, sit there and wait for the elements to warm up for a couple hours outdoors, it just seems you always get lots and lots of humidity on the uh, outside of the elements. So that's always a big issue. So I'm not, don't think this really the anti-dwelling system is really going to help. So especially for like the outside of the lenses. But anyway, they got some photos here showing a cooler on or the cooler system turned off, showing the amount of more noise you'd get in there. Uh, and this is not pictures of stars. This is just pictures of uh, uh, 
the sensor and just shooting a dark frame. That's normally a dark frame is when you just cover the lens or just leave the lens cap on or take the lens cap off and just put the body cap on. That's considered a dark frame. It gets you a better idea how much noise your sensor is going to have. And normally we, uh, when you do astrophotography or even like the night shots and stuff I do, I'll do a, a probably a couple of dark frames at the end of the, the photo shoot. That way I can kind of use those to kind of remove noise in the other images. And if you don't got the money for this, you can actually just take a bunch of uh, pictures uh, and in shorter duration and combine them and use like averaging in Photoshop. And there's lots of other software out there that can actually uh, combine them also and will align everything for you as well and re help remove noise. So it really depends uh, if you actually want to go with <laughs> this type of system or you rather just do it, uh, correct it in software. Now, obviously you're going to get better results if you can do it all in camera and just still do that post-processing later on. But anyway, I'm just kind of wondering uh, who actually would go for this. You know, it seems kind of interesting. I personally would not buy into it, but hey, you know, there's a lot of people that would. And uh, it seems you know, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting, not bad. But for basically 2,190 euros, uh, I'm not sure what exactly that is in U.S. dollars because I haven't looked. And I don't keep up what the euro conversion rate is. But I know that's probably up somewhere just from the bottom end of 3,000. Uh, just guessing. Don't shoot me for guessing. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's a pretty nice concept. Not sure who's going to use it. It seems more of a very niche item. Because personally, uh, if I'm going to spend that type of money on something, I want something I can use for multiple purposes, not just astrophotography. But I know there are a lot of astrophotographers out there that do look for a cleaner you know, image sensor and a cleaner camera overall for uh, they're taking their photos. So anyway, fairly interesting. I'd like to know everybody's thoughts, comments uh, are on this. You know, post them down below. I'd like to hear from you. Anyway, I, this is it for the video today. <laughs> I thought I'd share this with everyone. See you.